Hey, good morning to you. I am so glad that Jesus is Lord. The devil is defeated. Thank God the word works. Classic verse, Mark 11, 23. Jesus said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he have, shall have whatsoever he saith. Now watch this. You got to say it three times more than you believe it. You got to say it three times more than you let doubt enter into your heart. Now watch. <clears throat> he didn't say you was going to have what you prayed for. He didn't say you was going to have the desires of your heart because you went to church every Sunday and Wednesday night and Thursday morning and praised God all the time. He said that the thing that you is going to have is what things you say. So let me quote it again. That's Mark 11, 23. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain. Now the word mountain there means it's huge. So I don't care how big the thing is that's bothering you. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. I'm going to do it again. Say it, say it, and say it. You got to say it three times more than you believe it, believe it, believe it, because you're not going to have what you believe. Somebody says, well, you know, I'll watch Brother So-and-So on television all the time. And, you know, and I listen to tapes by old Brother Hagen and, and, you know, Kenneth Copeland and all these other people. Hey, you're not going to have what you hear. You're going to have what you say. Now, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's Romans 10, 17. But faith is only released by saying, not hoping, not dreaming, not having a visit, not having a... Uh, an angelic uh, visit by God, uh, not having God speak to you audibly, not even having some prophet prophesy to you. The only thing that God said you was going to have is what you say. So I'm going to say it to you again. You got to believe it, yes. You need to not doubt in your heart, yes. But you got to say it. Then you got to say it. And then you got to say it. And when you're tired of saying it, you got to say it. Because you're snared by your words and you're going to have what you say. You're not going to have what you believe, what you hope for, what you think, what you pray about. You're going to have what you say. Hey, have a great day and say it, say it, and then say it. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.